Okay, very good morning to you and welcome to our discussion this morning. It's a Thursday morning and I'm sure that um, you are good wherever you are. Thank you very much for joining us. My name is Sijama Uche and uh, this morning we'll have to look at um, a very important topic as a concern. I use it like we got talking, we started talking since yesterday concerning our youth, especially the male youth as of that yesterday. But today we're going to join them together and talk about them. Okay, so extraying the impact of government agenda on Anambra youth is the topic for this morning. Sure, you wouldn't want to miss this. And then um, I already have a guest that has joined me to look at it. He is uh, Comrade Madabuchi Ezekafo. Comrade Ezekafo is the Coordinator National Youth Council of Nigeria, NYCN, Aguata Local Government Chapter. A very good morning to you. Good morning, ma'am. Comrade. Thank okay, you. welcome. I'm having a series of comrades this one. I just finished with one, and then another joined me. Yes, welcome. And let's um, begin from discovering who is a youth. I wanted to talk, like I said, we talked about male youth yesterday, and today we are joining it together. But it's like whenever you talk about youth, it's only men that comes to mind. <laughs> I don't know why it's that way. So who is this youth who I want to talk about now? Uh, I think um, from the topic, is general youth, both male and female. Not just male alone, but female, young people in general. Okay, thank you. Okay, do you have age brackets? Uh, usually, some consider youth from 18 to 45, some from 50 to 18. I think there are no actual concrete age limit, but I think we can go with 45 to 15. Okay, no, uh, 15 to 45. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. And um, like the topic said, I want to explore the impact of government agenda on youth in Anambra State. So if you are asked to give uh, a preview of what has been happening in this state uh, from the past administration to the present administration, whether the youth, uh, whether it, uh, the, the government has actually impacted on youth in any way positive. Yeah, I think Anambra can be said to be one of the best uh, best states when it comes to government impacts on the youth positively. And uh, especially this present administration. Um, in less than two years, we can see a whole lot of impact this present government in the number of states is having on our youth. It's marvelous, it's massive, and it's, it's, going, to be, it's going to be enduring. But there are fundamental changes, fundamental impacts that is um, the present governor, Governor Professor Shukuma Sassoludo administration uh, is having on Anambra youth. Um, and we can go on and on. Um, we take it from the promise, the contract he has in Anambra in the, uh, the Soludo um, solution, a people, people manifesto. There in page 39, he, he, he captured the needs of the youth as job, job, quality job. And we can say that this present government, uh, from this perspective, from his understanding, that the major fundamental need of the youth is job, job, and quality job, empowering youth to, be, to function and to be productive. And as such, in two years, we can look at examining with two years stewardship, and we can come to the conclusion that, yes, uh, to the great extent, as never before, the present government of Anambra State is, um, has, is still ongoing, impacting on Anambra youth in, in ways that are uh, unimagined and great. Okay, um, before we now concentrate wholly on Anambra, let's look at uh, uh, the, uh, Nigeria generally, okay? Yeah. I know that um, this, um, I mean, allow the youth to come into governance. The campaign has been on for some time. And um, would you say that the youth that, were, that, that, that have had the opportunity to come into go governance are really very well? Do they, have they justified the need for us to engage them the more in governance? Uh, if you put them in percentage, I would say yes. There are more youth in government that are doing well than those that are not doing well. So generally speaking, uh, in Nigeria, the youth have not gotten it quite um, into position as required 
in, in the general um, nation, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But in Nanambra State, especially in this administration again, um, we can see that this administration is deliberate in giving youth critical positions in the government of today. And we can take a look at the local government TC chairman that was appointed. Uh, from the, uh, among the 21 local government TC chairman, we can say more than 50 percent are below 50 years. Really? Yeah. And and it gives some of us hope when you see your fellow comrade, your fellow young person uh, heading a local government. Like come to where I am from, I got a local government. Dr. Chibese of OBK is is one of the best ambassador of youth in government. He's, he's doing marvelously well. He's innovative, energetic, visionary, and impacting. Things ordinary you think does not care for local government, but he's doing them, giving hope to even younger youth coming up. And then we go to Anambra East, a youth also, even a good number of them below 50. So then look at the state cabinet. You can just go through the picture of Anambra's executive council during their meeting. You see young faces and youth at heart. So we can say in Anambra, yes, this present government of Soludo have really given youth great opportunity in critical roles in this government. And they are doing well. Right from the, commis the Commissioner for Finance, such a critical grade hey, commissioner, is a youth at about 40. You go to the Commissioner for I think, Budget and Economic Plan, it's a youth. And the rest, a good number of them in other agencies of government be controlled by youth. Kudos to Anambra State Government and kudos to those youth that have uh, taken this opportunity to prove, yes, that the youth can lead well. I was actually coming to that. Thank you. Because I asked you that generally in Nigeria, would you okay. say that the youth that had the opportunity to be in government that had done, done well? So let's now bring it home to those of us, uh, those of them that we have in government here. Uh, will you attest to they are doing very well? I mean, um, not disappointing. Because tomorrow the elderly ones will say that uh, you need experience that what you sit. Uh, what an elder, what, how do they even put it? <laughs> what an elder sit down, sees on the tree that if you, even if you stand on that tree that you will not see it. Uh, is this what they, they've been using to uh, press the youth down? Otherwise, now they say if they can't see it, they will Google it. <laughs> <laughs> So would you say they have, ju they have justified the mandate given to them by the governor, uh, Professor Charles Sonodo? Yes, yes. I, I think um, from the youth constituency, some of us youth leaders, we are very proud of those youths in present government of Hanover. Okay, you don't have constituency. <laughs> I mean, the youth have the largest, we have the largest the, constituency. The youth constituency. <laughs> <laughs> we are in trouble. I hope you guys are not going to push us out. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> the youth, we need the youth, we need the elders too. But just that uh, the youth should be given the opportunity to take part in deciding their future, their today, and the future of those coming after them. So, and um, as, you, as you said, in Anambra State, I think it's, it's going to be exemplary. And, um, and um, in, the, in the manifesto of the governor, I think in that same page 39, it talked about deliberately giving youth position in governance in page 39 of that manifesto. And he has lived through to it. Um, you take, as I was saying, take for example, um, the governor, we are grateful to him for giving us a young person in the person of Dr. Chibezo of Obike. Seriously, who is Chibes of Obike? The local government chairman of the Agwata local government. Oh, okay. Uh, it, uh, it, yeah, it's not disappointing. In fact, he is surpassing all the record created. Mm. Within the time he is in, he has done a lot of things, youth empowerment, and hunting talent. We have now Agwata Fubra Academy, courtesy of the local government chairman. And these are the things because, you know, we all talk of youth empowerment, people look at it only in, in the aspect of giving maybe money, training, but they forget that sport is also a form of youth empowerment. And uh, the, 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 um, through the appointment of Dr. Fubike, Agwata now have a football team, both under 17 and under 13. And they are going, uh, going out to play and they are doing well. Then. You, we, we, we talk about um, um, encouraging education. Just on, like the governor, the local mayor chairman is domesticating that in Agwata. The last week or two weeks ago, he took 15 best students of Agwata to Ghana. Young people in secondary school who came the best 15 after the competition to Ghana. And these are mind-blowing. These are impacts 
that that these young persons celebrating excellence. You know, the era of celebrating nuisance is is phasing out. And you see, the kind of ideas young person can bring to the system, things that is common to people. What is that? But that is making a great lack of impact in education. So and. Um, the same with like, the Commissioner for Finance and many other commissioners. They are doing well, and uh, we can see working with the governor, who maybe you know, may not be used by age, but we can see it's used by, 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 by heart. heart. <laughs> so thank you very much, and he's doing well. And I want to you to thank him for giving the Anambra youth that great opportunity to work with him in the government. Okay, thank you. Let's, um, let's um, expand. I understand that you are the coordinator of National Youth Council of Nigeria, Aguata local government area. Uh, but um, you are here on behalf of the youth of Anambra State. Yeah. And then to say exactly what the government is doing in, the, uh, in your constituency. Yes, the youth, youth constituency. constituency. Yeah, right. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, so um, I know that um, there's, this, there's been this phrase of uh, the youth are the leaders of tomorrow. So are you now saying that uh, you have either taken it by force or that the governor of Chukuma has uh, reverted that, well, was, reversed the words and said that uh, you are now the leader of today? Because it does appear when you look at governance, like you have said, you have um, more youths than the elderly. So what exactly is uh, playing out? Yeah, um, I think in Anambra today, um, you know, there was a campaign prior to the, prior before, for the emergence of Governor Chukuma Soludo, mm -hmm. this 50-50, um, the youth o'clock campaign. And even in the national level, we have the not, not too, uh, not too young. young to, uh, but in another, I think uh, I can beat my chest to say, through the decisive decision of the governor, Anambra youth have achieved that, 50-50. If you move more than 50, as I said, because we take a very critical look at the government today. You've got the government functions in Anambra. You see young people, young, young faces, innovative, energetic, visionary. Those who really want to make impact, not those who see government as a place of retirement home. And that is the difference. When you have a youth in government, he realizes that he still has life to live. So whatever this one takes today is going to impact and effect, affect him and his future generation. And there is an opportunity for him to grow too. But when you give some of these people 70, 80 years of his retirement home. So, um, Governor Chukuma Solodo, I will say, akin to the, the, the campaign. And he himself, I believe, he himself in, as a person achieved a lot of the height in life when he was young. He was professor, professor at, at late 30, around middle or late 30. When was he a Tibian governor? Today he's about 60, 63 years old. Minus 20 years when he was at CBN. So you see, it was, uh, it was at 40, he was a CBN governor. So, so, and I believe that this is the kind of, you want to create that same opportunity. You want to give that play, level playing ground. You want to give that, he believes in you because himself as a youth achieved a lot. So I believe that the, present governor of Anambra State, the solution governor, is also giving the Anambra youth that platform, that opportunity for them to, to accomplish those of, of us who have the opportunity to accomplish greater heights as, as a young person, as he himself did. As a young person in his 40, he was consulting for international firms as a professor. So, and, uh, so he came into the system true to his promise in his manifesto, page 39, he, he, he gave the platform of governance to Anambra Youth. And Anambra Youth today, we're happy for it. We see, uh, you, if, I want to, if, if I want to call the Commission of Finance now, nah, the protocol is not much because so and so are we in the same, uh, my contemporary is my senior by age, but my contemporary, my local my chairman. Yeah, from the same constituency. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, they say that to whom much is given, much is expected. So what are you guys bringing to the table? We are bringing innovative reasoning. We are bringing um, energy. We are bringing vision. You know, there's, there's, there's this thing about the youth, which is um, enterprising. This is, the youthful age is, is, the, is the golden age of life. Mm. And we are bringing these golden ideas into governance. And um, 
Thanks again to the solution governor who too recognizes that the youth has that potential. And from the, our constituency, the youth constituency, is tapping those energy. And Anambra is getting better for it. Okay. So let's look at um, some of the programs that the, the state government has uh, mapped out for the youth. Like I will have had the first phase of the one youth, two skills uh, uh, program. We are now in the second phase. So how are you guys mobilizing the youth to tap into this? agenda of the government yeah i believe this second phase <laughs> maybe if you go to the ministry of youth i think you get the first time information that thousands of the youth have tapping into it already you know the first phase was also competitive but you know because of years of audio empowerment by government and then um, because of the amount of government empowerment, a lot of persons are not interested. There's this feeling of, at the end, they will pick those, their, their persons and give the empowerment. So, but surprisingly, I would say, for the first time in Anambra, such a massive number, 5,000 youth are being empowered. And you, know, you, you can be in your village, in Sofia or in Aguleri, or in, in Otosha, and you will know you know someone directly who has no government connection that got empowered life and direct. So this tells you that the, the first experience of the five thousand have made it known that government is serious with empowering Anambra youth with skills for us to be productive or to function well, for we to be to be exportable, to offer render services beyond Anambra. So this, do you know anyone that has been empowered? from the first phase to this? Uh, uh, many. I'm a youth leader. How, how well are they faring? That's what, because when you, uh, people say that, nah, it's here what or give me a mom case, it's a car, it's a car, it's a car, it's a So some people will be asking, or in hand, if, like you said, audio empowerment. So that's why I asked you this one. Do you know anybody has been empowered? And how are they faring? And you go, you know why? And you go, where did you get the empire? So how are you guys managing the empowerment? Yeah, I think um, a good number, first of all, I know many, a lot of persons, more than 500 to 1,000, okay. that received the empowerment. Now, also, fairing, I can see a good number of them are also doing well. You know, the, the, the empowerment has two phases. There's that seed money, seed capital, giving, and then there's the other one for to assess loan. And a good number of them are already forming their, co are already in cooperative, as instructed to assess the, the loan from government to do what to, exactly? To do more of that they have been like those training tailoring. I know somebody who have been training tailoring okay. who cool. okay. through the money given to, to her mm. got one machine. Rented shop. Now he needs is applying for loan to get more fund to get this electric um, electric sewing okay. machine to f uh, assist um, that uh, uh, skill, that uh, entrepreneurial business. So, and a good number of them are also doing well. They, 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 there are some, well, there's one of them in ICT who have gotten more computers, not even training people in, in, in ICT. Mm -hmm. So, um, a good number of them, those I know, are utilizing the money very well. Uh, there may be one or two who may be on serious, but those who are serious are going to tap, are tap already for the next, for the second phase of assessing low interest loan from an Umbra state government. Beautiful. Okay, that's why I asked that question so that we will put it uh, on records that uh, those of them that have assessed, I mean, they, at least the first phase of, um, of our use that have assessed, they want you to, to, scale. to skills program. Are really performing, of course, that was what has uh, encouraged the governor to go for the second phase. Okay, now, I, it, it, you, uh, in our place, they say that um, when, they, when the land is peaceful, the king, you know, becomes a great king. We know what is um, going on in the state. There are so many uh, insecurity issues here and there, and uh, it's the youth that is causing this problem here. So what are you guys doing to ensure, because you are a leader, a youth leader, uh, if, where are you from? From Nagwata. Which, which one is your town? From Isofia. Okay, from Isofia. In Isofia, it is the youth in Isofia that know themselves. 
Open up when they used to among them. They know them. You understand? Yeah. So it's like that's in all that towns, all the towns in Anambra State. I'm asking for you to need the farmer. You want to go so okay? Full no name. What are you guys doing to help the government to curtail this? Um, it's, it's a youth unrest, my drug abuse, rape, criminal activities, and that which is making the state somehow unstable. So what are you guys doing? Um. <clears throat> First of all, let me um, appreciate this government because we know two years ago during the campaign, this campaign, it was a worst. We have the worst security situation. Especially that side. Anambra. That yeah, Anambra South generally. Most of us, seven of the, the government were somehow the control of this um, insecurity of the men. Now, and uh, since he came in. He has, he has put great effort to restore law and order and peace. And we can say from we youth, at the point some of us were targets, getting messages and threats. Um, but generally, I think there is great improvement in security. And we in the youth constituency are also doing our best collaborating with government and uh, even our own self programs to, to campaign against destruction of our own land. Because um, whatever the case may be, there is no reason to justify you killing your brother. And the Bubai is only one day abroad. At all. So, no matter what the case may be, nothing justifies the, the, the destruction of our own land. So, we are talking to ourselves, we are campaigning among ourselves the issue of drug abuse, which is also linked to insecurity. Sometimes, uh, when uh, we've taken things you shouldn't take you have you this force you, you shouldn't do yeah. so so we are we are we are moving to schools first of all to stop younger ones getting involved in drugs Beautiful. then among us organizing seminars moving getting youth and through the one to scale get many youth who are idle because there's part of idleness is is taken off taken care of so the youth constituency we are talking to ourselves on um, the dangers of drug abuse. We are talking about, about the abuse of the use of traditions and culture. For because some we have seen some of these things are being linked. You know, you, there's this when you abuse culture, tradition, you begin to have false, false um, confidence that one thing will be achieve other thing, mm -hmm. and you, you can you can do Such and do deception. deception. Mm -hmm. So we are also doing those campaign that culture and tradition should be tools for progress tools for, for building confidence among ourselves and not the other way around, not for destruction. So the youth constituency, we are reaching out to our fellow youth, uh, encouraging through activities and uh, seminars, talks, uh, because you know, we, it, we, ent we came to this that point through years of neglect of the youth constituency. So, and uh, progressively now, I think NOMAS is returning and uh, it's an ongoing project. Security is every day uh, concern. I know. Okay, now let's get uh, down to you. You are the president, or how do you call it? The, the coordinator. The coordinator. So, how how are you coordinating? How did you get to this position? And um, uh, who and who are working with you? And how far have you gone in coordinating aqua type? Martin. Yeah. Um First of all, I want to thank God for the opportunity for uh, giving to us to be um, the youth leader of Agwata. You know, the National Youth Council is the upper youth body in the Federation mm -hmm. with national, state and local government, even world chapter. We have with many affiliate groups of youth groups. So as a mother body of youth organization and the youth of Agwata, so we came into office uh, we, we try to give a sense of unity, a sense of oneness to the youth, and because in unity we stand and then our voice can be heard. And then we came in also and uh, we, we, we engage our stakeholders, both governmental stakeholders, our political leaders, religious leaders, traditional leaders in, in Agwata. We engage them, preaching the gospel, telling everyone, please, 
prioritize youth development and interest in all whatever you are doing. As a church leader, let the development of the youth of your church be your priority. As a tra the traditional leader, let the development of the youth be your priority. As a, 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 a political leader, let the development of the youth be your priority. Because when you take care of the youth, you take care of the nation. We have the slogan in Youth Council, build the youth, build the nation. Destroy the youth, destroy the nation. No longer train a girl, a girl child. Uh, you have trained the nation. It's yeah. the youth now. Oh, love, love, love. So no, no, no one should be left behind. <laughs> the, the, the girl, the male yeah, child, and the, the girl youth child. <laughs> <laughs> so all of us. This so youth well, thank you. Also, my my executive at the local government level of youth council, they are doing well. My vice, the deputy, the secretary, I have a very supportive executive, and then we have the athlete bodies, uh, the manual world, the MODs, the senior, and the rest, the AYF. They are all supportive, and together. We are we are we are progressing in our our, our mandate to How protect. Long have you been I think going to a year now, about nine months. How many years are you cut out for? Three. Okay. All right, we'll take a break here to bring in some people that we'll talk to concerning the topic we are looking at today, or which is uh, extraying extraying the uh, impact of government's agenda on Anambra youth. We'll be back shortly. I'm a living testimony. The last um, youth empowerment we did, one, one youth to skill, I, I am one of the beneficiaries there. I was, I, I went through the training, I'm a, tra I'm, I'm a trainee there, under baking. So our governor gave me 320,000 naira to start up my own business. So our governor has been so kind, he is a good governor. Eh? Solu, though the solution is here, you understand? So he has been kind to us. A lot of us, all the youths in Anambra State, eh, if you can tell yourself the truth, if you can confess the truth, he has been kind to us. He helped a lot of people last year and he's still doing it now. God bless him. Responsibility of government, one is to see that children are trained. Eh, the cost of training children are very, very high. Most parents cannot afford it. And because of that, most parents even encourage their children to go into that their home work because they don't have money. Hunger almost kills all the children. So what do they do? As a child, go and get money where you get money. Get money, let us not die. Talk less of uh, you know, sending them to school. You can't send them to school because you don't have money. And so if government will do something to reduce the, 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 the cost of uh, education, uh, then people will be going to school, children will be learning, and then there they will be taught the right way to life. Uh, so Luda's administration is doing well because for now, youth are, you know, uh, are happy with Soludo because in terms of sports, Soludo is doing well in sports. Youth are participating in uh, Anambra State Sports this time. So it is a, it's a welcome development that youth are involving in their, their selves in uh, sports. It's okay for that now because the governor is trying. If the governor is not trying, this youth will not come out for the, all these uh, Anambra State activities like uh, sports and uh, uh, you know some security guards and all those things securing the society, so, so, uh, securing the communities. Uh, I think is uh, is okay. Well, you know this Agbo stuff, you know for the fact that he like kind of like legitimized it, he, he reduced the you know the violence that comes with the usual. Hey, stop and give me money. So now it's, it's, it's kind of like it's a, it's a lot more compacted, you know. It's, I feel like that is one, you know, trying to make all those things that those agbos usually love, trying to, you know, legitimize it and give them work under the government. Yeah, so it's still under the whole work and youth empowerment. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. It is still good morning, Anna Bra Thursday edition. Looking at um, the topic we brought for today, which is a spraying of the impact of government's agenda 
on Anam Dry Youth. It does appear we'll have the best of the youth in the region and the, perhaps in the state, in the nation. Mm -hmm. I'm being very honest to you because um, <laughs> I went to the weather. You got to go in every area. I use are doing very well in business, in education, in everything you can think about. And uh, we still owe this time to our amiable governor, Governor Chukoma Sumudo. Thank you very much for what you are doing in that sector, in the constitution. Okay, I heard that one. In the youth the constituency. Oh, no, constituency, sorry. Youth constituency. In the youth constituency. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to learn this one <laughs> because it's a new trend. Thank you very much. Okay, yes, um, let's look at um, how you guys get yourself together because um, election is coming very soon and I know what it is usually like. Some people will just come jump in from the window and start confusing the youth here and there. Do you have um, do you have a link that you are in charge of Aguata now? Do you have a body that um, that um, that brings you together? The youth, the the youth leader in Aguata, youth leader in uh, in Jikoka, you know, you do the coffee another country. Do you have a forum whereby you guys interact? Yeah, um, like I said, the National Youth Council of Nigeria, as the first mother body recognized by the federal government and the state government as a youth body it is established in Anambra state. So, and then we also have it in every local government. We have what we call the coordinators forum, oh. where we okay. interact together uh, by the, the leaders in those forums. Then at the state level, we have, <coughs> we have a state leader, the chairman of the youth council Anambra, uh, Sylvia Mekobi. Uh, and um, I believe generally, uh, in the Anambra it was progressive. We are progressive youth. So we always stand with the progressive government. We always stand with a government that is providing solutions to the youth constituency. A government that is giving the youth constituency the platform and, 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 and the opportunity to be part of the show makers in a number of states. You're saying that you guys cannot be friends with millions of nairas or dollars that will be dropped very soon for you guys to, you know, start leave where you are and move to where you are not supposed to be are you sure that such a thing will not happen in yeah. the election we may have one or two youth who are moved by that but i think general number of youth are moved by the fish i got there i got there on the cargo mm. so in the number of you generally we're entrepreneur we want a government that will give us more access to it. As this government is doing, providing road infrastructure at this at the tune of over 400 and something kilometers in just two years so we need such government to keep going so that in as well if you are going to be there from on each or from asaba or any good in no good roads so we need government that will provide the infrastructure enable the environment for business to strive and number of youth we support a candidate and the candidate who will be uh, an instrument for progress in a number of states money will come in is not it's not it's not in politics we are used to it and one or two youth may go for the money but the general of a number of youth will go for the progressive government okay this is a good one, and that's actually what I want to hear because now we want to determine the tempo of uh, politics in this place. Yeah. You want to go for basi ako tawo we want to carry out, we want to lot talks, we want to get the man, we want to get the job. So we are all hoping and depending on you to have a, a good state, good state. That's the most important thing to us. You know, whereby you go out and come back safely. You know, when you go out, you're not sure you're coming back. Okay. I'd like to thank you very much for coming. And now, let me give the opportunity to um, talk to your people. Uh, one, the youth in Aguata, and then Anambra youth generally, when it comes to how, how, how best to behave as a youth and make sure that uh, you impact, you break something to the table and impact in your society positively. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, youth in the youth in the Anambra and youth in the Aguata. Uh, I'm an... Uh, we are lucky to have uh, the best governor of Anambra State coming from Aguata. And we are proud that Aguata produced, is, 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 uh, is produced the, uh, what in time already showing the best governor in Anambra State. Mm -hmm. And it's a thing of pride time on the Aguata. And youth Aguata will take pride. And that is the reason. For your information, Aguata youth, we are uh, having a, a what we call Aguata Youth Solution Games Tournament, organized by the youth from all the affiliate youth bodies. Really? Not sponsored by any government uh, to celebrate and appreciate the solution governor 
Professor Chukuma Shah Soludo. He is making us proud. We are happy when you go to Onicha, oh, it's so don't know. When you go to Okano, it's so don't know. Okasa, so don't know. You will be happy to beat your chest. Yeah. It's my oh, brother. It's my brother. <laughs> so there's that sense of joy <laughs> given to us. Yes. And, uh, and the, sense of pride. the only thing we are saying to Anambra youth. Um, um, uh, 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 the evidence are glaring. They are not audio rules. Quality, the massive youth empowerment, even the solution of innovative district where youth are trained in various digital skills free of charge. Over 20,000 youth of Nambra have been trained. So the Agata youth this weekend um, at Umushu Stadium, Mini Stadium, we are playing a football match. To, to show, to appreciate this solution government for the great work he's doing. In just less than, in about two years in office, he has beat records of those in eight years before him. Really? And um, even in employment, you know, what look at what he's doing. Teachers employment, a good 80% of them are youths that got that employment. So you say he has employed 8,000 teachers. A turn out of that 8,000, let's ensure that 7,005 are youths. The same thing in the health, health sector. He has employed around about a thousand in two years. No governor has done it. These are records as clear. The evidence is the fact are there. Mm -hmm. So we are proud and we are happy. And the only thing we can say to the number of youth, only children of Uma, that she also. The only thing actually is the progressive government. And the government is providing solution. So we stand with solution for a greater number for, for in order for Anambra to be the number of our dream, a smart, mega prosperous city. Thank you. So I'm inviting you, Uma, and everybody to come okay. over to Agwata this, this weekend. On on Sunday. The finals. Yes, on Sunday. Okay, where? At Umushu Mini Stadium, Agwata local government. Okay. Yeah. The whole of the Agwata local government. Yeah, the whole youths of Agwata will be there. Just Agwata local government, no Urumba, not a not a Everybody, everybody's oh, invited. They're organizing their own. Yeah, this one is not organized by Agwata Youth. Okay. So we are inviting. So we have Agwata and then we have, uh, yes, we have Buddha Agwata. We'll get there. Agwata. <laughs> the mother Agwata. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Come with the mother Buchi Ezeka for coordinator National Youth Council of Nigeria, NYS, NYCN, Agwata Local Government Chapter. I'd like to thank you very much for coming this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Youth Anambra. Thank you, National Youth Council Anambra State in general. Thank you, Agwata Youth. Let's always remember that indeed the solution government is the youth government. Thank, thank you. you. All right, thank you, Martins and Co. Those of you that were behind the cameras this morning, thank you. Thank you, uh, Pascal Agna and your guys at the MCL. Thank you, Fiona Chuku and uh, your babes at the production unit. I also like to thank everybody that watched Good Morning Anambra this morning. God keeping us. We'll be back tomorrow. My name is Sid Jama. God bless you.